everybody. I wanted to share with you a little craft that I originally intended to make my daughter for Mother's Day and just time ran out. So I ended up having to go buy her something else I knew she would love. But uh, I developed a few pictures off my phone and I came across a couple, one of her and the kids and one of she and I that I just really love. And I started looking around for, uh, looking at those, um, oh, they're called clip frames. And, I, and, and so I was inspired to make one of those and I, what I'm going to use is just an old ca stretch canvas I have. It's an old set of pictures I had that are kind of, uh, if you can tell, it was kind of like a little three ivy, uh, two balls and a, and a, uh, and a flower pot. Anyway, I, and I was going to do something else with it, but I just went ahead and painted it brown months ago. I was going to do something else, but this will be perfect for what I want to, what I want to make. I um, need a glue gun and some glue, scissors. Um, I tested that wood that the stretch canvas is made out of, and it's soft enough where I think I can use this office stapler instead of just, uh, you know, an industrial type one. Uh, the scrap fabric I'm going to use is some I picked up at a thrift store uh, in this past year. Um, I was just drawn to it because my daughter decorates in this kind of anchor, uh, patriotic, uh, really cute. Her house is really cute with all that kind of stuff. And so the back of the fabric, it was a it looked like it was someone had made a crib comforter or something, and uh, and I didn't realize it was two sided until. I, went, uh, I noticed it last night. So this will be perfect to cover the canvas in. And then I'm gonna make a couple bows to put on it. And then I was at Michael's this today and they had, uh, I needed some bull nose clips and all they had was the great big ones and I didn't want that. And so and I did want full size clothespins. So I came across these little medium size ones. These are like $1.50 at Michael's. I really don't want the sparkly burlap. So I may try to peel that off and just see if I can, um, uh, and they're both, they're, I think they're done on both sides. So I may try to pull off, because I only need two. I'm gonna try to pull off that sparkly burlap because it doesn't really go with patriotic. So what I need to do now is cut my fabric just about an, an inch bigger than, than the canvas itself. And that way I'm going to staple it all around. Okay, I took my canvas and I just laid it out on my fabric. And I went ahead and just cut a good inch all the way around it so when I do pull it tight and staple it it will be definitely big enough to cover it okay and if you've ever covered a seat of a chair some of you that have done that before it's the same type of thing especially when you get to the corners so what I'm gonna do is to get started I'm gonna just do all four sides to get it secure tight just like you would when you are covering a chair seat. Now the corners I'm going to do just a little different. I'm going to actually, um, yeah, I mean you could do it a number of different ways. As long as it's neat looking from the side, you can fold it kind of like a hospital corner type thing or you can gather it straight ahead. I think what I'm going to do is I'm just going to gather it at an angle and do it that way and just kind of as long as your corners are neat let me give you a little close-up of that corner see so that looks pretty neat and I'm gonna do all four corners that way okay I got all four corners done and I'm gonna go ahead and flip it over and show you that it did tighten itself up it's a nice smooth work surface Okay, to make my fabric bow, I just took a piece of my fabric and cut it a six by six. And then um, I just ran a bead of glue down one side and connected right sides together. And so now I have a fabric tube that I'm gonna turn back inside outwards. All right, I wanted to go ahead and show you one of my completed bows. And so what I did is after I turned my fabric uh, back correctly, uh, what I did is I tucked each end uh, in about a half an inch and just ran a little bead of hot glue inside of it and so what I basically have is a little flat uh, rectangle and then I took a piece of scrap fabric and just lightly cinched the center and then uh, what I did is I hot glued the clip on there and then I cut the tails off of the little scrap center fabric and so now I am ready to hot glue the clip onto the canvas. 
Okay, I want to go ahead and show you that I have the bows hot glued on there. And so now I'm going to go find my pictures and hang it up on the wall and show you the completed project. Okay, here is my finished patriotic clip frame. This top picture is a picture of my daughter and my grandkids last month. And this is another favorite picture that uh, this was she and I. Uh, this past February when she came home for her birthday and so I just think it turned out adorable it will really match her home decor uh, this just goes to show you that you could take any old ugly thrift store canvas picture you could find and totally update it as long you know for whatever fabric you could find you know you don't have to certainly do fabric bows but they have all kinds of metal clips they have now in the office supply you they've got all kinds of decorative clothespins out and uh, so it's just absolutely unlimited what you, how you could decorate up a clothespin or a clip to put on a canvas so it's just all done with hot glue and some staples and so I just think this is a really cute trash to treasure project hope you enjoyed it thanks for watching bye bye